Now, one question I see asked a lot by new drone flyers is if I take a drone such as the DJI Mini 3 Pro and take off from a high altitude, such as the cliffs behind me, and then proceed to fly below the level of the cliffs, meaning our altitude is actually lower on the indicator on the DJI Fly app, if we enter a return to home situation, what exactly will happen? If we have set our return to home altitude at 90 meters, will the drone then fly to that 90 meter altitude, even though we are showing a negative? Or because we are flying at minus 10 meters, will it only rise by 90 meters, basically putting the drone in a potential risk of hitting some sort of obstacle on its way home, resulting in a completely fiery mess for your DJI drone? Well, in this video, I'm going to answer that very question because of course, I've got the DJI Mini 3 Pro, I've got some cliffs, and of course, I am on a beach, and we're gonna test the very theory right now. So let's get into it. So of course, first of all, we have to start with a reference, and then all we're going to do is take off, making sure our return to home height is set at 90 meters, which of course is a random number that I've chosen to conduct this experiment. So all I'm going to do is fly out straight off this cliff edge, and then of course just fly forwards over the water. We don't need to go too far, uh, just far enough for a return to home to be quite successful and activate. So all we're going to do now is once we've flown out there a little bit further, we're going to hit that return to home button. And what we're going to do is notice the drone is going to first of all return to face us and that's because the DJI Mini 3 Pro for example has got front obstacle avoidance sensors and if you want to see what happens if you put an obstacle between the DJI Mini 3 Pro on its path to its home point and to see if it will avoid a potential accident then please do watch this video right here which will show exactly what happens there. Now, as you can see, with this return to home set at 90 meters, because our flight altitude level is pretty stable, it has, of course, risen all the way to 90 meters, and the drone is on its way back to us exactly as it should during this return to home situation. So now we've completed that test flight, you can see exactly what does happen. And of course, in this area, return to home is behaving completely normally. So now what I'm going to do is just fly below the cliff height right down to the basically not far off sea level so you can see exactly what happens if we do have that negative altitude on our DJI flight app indicator. So again, let's just fly all the way down. So for example, let's use 10 meters because it's nice and simple. What we're going to test to see whether the drone will only rise by 90 meters. So of course, minus 10 at 90 means 80 meters, or will it actually fly all the way up to that 90 meters we did set in the DJI Fly app. So let's give it a go then and press that return to home button right now, and let's just see exactly what it does. So first of all, the drone is going to return. So it's facing front forwards towards our return to home point then it's going to fly up to 20 meters which seems to be relatively new uh, i've noticed on a recent update um, it goes to 20 meters first then it continues to rise to our preset level and as you can see it is flying all the way up and will it reach that 90 or will it stick at 80 and there you go as you can see it has now got to that 90 meters. So of course that has answered our question and just to follow the video through, we'll just let the drone return all the way to its home point and come back to me at the top of this cliff edge. And as you can see, uh, that was another successful return to home test. So hopefully that has answered the question once and for all, if you take off on a higher altitude and fly below, so you have a negative altitude. If you do enter a return to home situation, the drone will always rise to the actual flight level you set in the DJI Fly app, even though you started off on a negative. So if you did find this useful, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're awesome. Until next time, see you again soon.